Hello everyone, my name is Aniket Maurya. I am a developer advocate at Lightning AI. In this video, we are going to look at how we optimize the stable diffusion serving by hacking the scheduler algorithm. We decrease the inference time from 6 seconds to 2 seconds, that is 3 times of the default speed. We improved by utilizing different techniques like deep speed, floating 16 precision, CUDA graph optimization and a lot of different stuff. In this video, we are going to see how we remove delay in dynamic batching. In most of the model servers, we have something called dynamic batching where the model would wait, the model server would wait for some time to aggregate more number of requests so that it can process the aggregated request in a batch to scale more number of concurrency with an added latency. Let's understand this with an example. We have an user, the red user, who sends the request to the server. The model server would wait for some time before processing the request. It would wait for some time to see if a new user comes and sends the request and then it will batch their request to make the prediction. So we are going to solve this issue by hacking the scheduler algorithm. Before that, let's understand the diffusion model in three simple steps. In the first step, we have something called text encoder. The text encoder takes the textual prompt and convert that into a token embedding. In the second step, we have a token embedding and a random noisy image. We take both of them and pass it through a diffusion process. The outcome of this diffusion process is a more processed information which later is used in the third step to decode it into an image. The diffusion process repeats itself for some number of times. The number of times it repeats itself is called inference steps. This repetition is done by something called scheduler. Let's understand this a bit visually. So suppose we have a model with four number of inference steps and you can see with each step, the output quality of the image increases in quality. So higher the inference step, higher is the image quality. Now let's hack the inference step. So we have a red user and in our backend we have defined 10 number of total inference steps. So when the red user sends the request, we are not going to wait for the second user to come and add the batch delay. We will start executing the request of this user as soon as we, we receive it. But how do we now batch the second user request to support more concurrency? How did we solve that problem? Let's understand this. So when the red user sends the request to the model server, it starts execution. So it completes its first, second, third and fourth and fifth step. And suppose at the fifth step, a new user comes and sends the request, the blue user. At this point of time, the model server will also accept the request of this blue user and start executing. But the number of steps for the blue user would be zero and the number of steps for the red user would be five. This will continue in this particular order. And at the point when the red user has already completed all its step, which is 10, the number of steps completed for blue user would be 5. Then we will return the output of the red user to its client and we will continue executing for the blue user. It will continue its 6, 7, 8, 9 and finally 10th number of step. And after that we will create the image and return it back to the client. So this is how we are no more waiting for the batch delay and neither we are losing any concurrency. After this optimization, we ran some benchmarks and observed that we have reduced the response time by 18% on a T4 GPU. Check out our blog page to learn more about each of the optimization steps in detail.